Well, this is a quick overview about the floor diamond plate. Uh, several people asked me to request how I did it. It is uh, very simple. This is not that thin one, neither not too thick. Uh, I had to uh, add draw, I use a cardboard to make the cut first for the floor, for the original size. Um, of course, a couple of advices, I would use a, a stainless steel uh, screw. Uh, one thing I did, and I do want to mention it, that, uh, sorry about the sound of the engine, I just pulled it out of the garage, that I extend the length of the diamond plate all this all right this is this is i'm going to show you this is the original lid right here all right and i extend it all the way to this part where it sits uh, where the seat sits uh, i could go more but i see it's so complicated and i want to keep an axis for the floor uh, if i ever want to do anything i don't have to take the the blade out. Uh, I hope this is, can help somebody who are willing to do the floor. This is how it looks like. Use a quality one. You have to be so careful to cut it. Um, if I want to do it again, for the time and and the safe, safety concern, I will uh, just draw it on a piece of nice cardboard. Make sure I cut it right, and I take it to the local shop. But they always want to charge you uh, a lot of money for it. However, I did it with the jigsaw, a fine stainless steel plate. I'm gonna run to the garage just to show you. Oh, one more thing before I forget. This is what I did also. show you the thickness of the the plate oh where I got it out <laughs> this is this is the thickness of the diamond plate cut uh, this is not the Home Depot uh, style the 0 0.25 I think this is at the 0 0.63 I'm not sure to be honest I should have made a, a search to find out what I did but uh, this is all thank you guys